Hey YouTube, this is Patrick with my next entry in the Blu-ray series. Um, instead of continuing to go alphabetical or whatever, I'm going um, to a little off tangent uh, because we're doing our Fuzzy Motion Spielberg thing this weekend. Um, so that thing should be the next video that goes up on here. Uh, and I think it's pretty funny. Um, we hope you guys think it's pretty funny. Uh, so I figured in honor of our soon-to-be video, I would do the four Judd Apatow comedies I own on Blu-ray for my next thing, which we got, uh, we got Four-Year-Old Virgin, we got Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Knocked Up, and Superbad. Uh, as far as ranking these, for me, it probably goes pretty much like that. Which is that's uh, 40 year Virgin for getting Sarah Marshall, super bad, knocked up. So that's where I have them ranked. Um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about owning comedies on Blu ray, which, um, you know, unless it's a new movie that and you have a Blu ray player and you buy it, um, or it's an older comedy and the, the fact that the, um, you know, it's been upgraded to a, you know, digital quality. Uh, to a high-definition quality transfer. Other than that, if you have, like, these four movies that I have on DVD, it's not worth the upgrade because you're not watching them, you know, for their... Well, for, right, maybe or, Forgetting Sarah Marshall is the one that actually looks the best out of all of them. Probably because the, most of the movie takes place in, like, in Hawaii, and it just it actually has, like, a decent... There's like an excuse for it. Um, so I upgraded on that one. Uh, actually, I got, I think, like, I asked for the four of these movies for, like, Christmas because they were movies that I knew, you know, I'd like to have in, like, a collection like this, but I would never, like, on my own, like, you know, upgrade to it. Which I don't know if that sounds kind of weird, but I just, it's just, um, it's just you don't, you don't need to upgrade for comedies like this. Not to mention that, um, like, Knocked Up and 40 Year Old Virgin kind of don't really even look the best. They look kind of flat. Um, especially 40 Year Old Virgin looks really flat. Uh, Superbad has a really colorful, like, opening title sequence. Other than that, it's, uh, you don't really need it. Now, I, you know, I was, I wanted, I wanted them just for the fact that, you know, I'm a film snob, but I want everything on Blu-ray that I can get now. Um, so my family was kind enough to buy them, um, but uh, yeah. Otherwise, I would say though they're they're probably not worth an upgrade. I mean, if you can find them for you know seven bucks or something like that, that's fine. Or if you don't have these movies, then that's obviously okay too. But otherwise, I'd probably say don't get movies like these on Blu-ray. Older comedies from the '80s or '70s or whatever that you know, have gotten a real, like, transfer update, you know, that's great, that's great to get, and obviously if it's a new comedy came out this year or last year and you don't have it yet, then, you know, obviously pick it up, but, um, but yeah, these four movies, if you have these four movies on DVD, I would recommend probably not upgrading, um, you know, just for, just for the fact, that, I mean, also you see they're on TV all the time. Um, and I know, like, all the lines of these movies, so even when everything's cut out on TV, I know what they really say, and it doesn't really, it honestly doesn't, doesn't hurt it that much. Um, but yeah. Uh, as far as the movies go, Jed Apatow is, um, he's good at, you know, making, like, comedies with heart with characters that you, you know, there's no real, like, villains or anything like that. Everyone's, you know, kind of decent. Um... But uh, his his direct his directed films, which are the the Forty Year Old Virgin and Knocked Up, are um, like way too long. They're like two and a half hours, and Funny People is too long. Like that, I don't have Funny People. Um, I've caught it on HBO so many times that I feel like no need to like buy it. Uh, plus, because I don't enjoy it as much as I enjoy these four, but still. Um, yeah, that's like his his the good thing about him and his problem. He's got another movie coming out next year with um, Paul Rudd and um, Leslie, his wife. 
Um, it's supposed to be like a half kind of sequel to Knocked Up. It's the same two characters from Knocked Up. Yeah, we'll see. Megan Fox is in it. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, but yeah, alright. That's all I got for this one. Uh, I figured... I just figured I'd do one more of these before uh, we do our thing this weekend. And, uh... So yeah, please check us out for that this weekend. Um, it's going to be pretty funny. And uh, we'll see you guys. Maybe maybe it'll be up Sunday night, maybe Monday. Uh, I'm going to hold off on doing the, the Dexter and um, Walking Dead stuff until the other one is up. So, uh, so yeah. Alright, guys. Take care.